everybody, it's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean, and I'm gonna guide you through an awesome two-set hit circuit today. That means we're only going to do each of the moves one time on each side. I am a little spatially challenged due to the bright sunlight, uh, but we're gonna do our best. If I cut my head off, that's okay. Don't worry, it's still actually attached. Okay, so make sure you have some water. Oh no, my water's on the other side of this setup. Well, well, I'm gonna figure out a way over there. We get started in one minute. If you've got some weights, I encourage you to bring a variety of weights to today's class. Maybe you have some super light weights. Maybe you have like one medium to heavy weight. Maybe you have two weights that you can hold on to for some of our lunges, just if you want to challenge yourself a little bit extra. Great. We start in one minute. Just gonna sneak by here. Okay. I made it. Great. Ready? You don't need to see my head. Two. Now let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. Just a nice little lateral side to side step tap. Draw that belly button back to the spine. I'll go back. I'm going to move your ugly blanket if you don't come here and sit on it. Go ahead, change direction of those shoulder circles. Start to draw that lower belly in. Make sure you still have lots of room for some big deep breaths. Awesome, go ahead, bring your hands up to shoulders height. We're just gonna take some nice, gentle little twists side to side. Make sure that you have those feet about shoulders width distance apart, ground into the mat. Drawing that elbow back, starting to feel that stretch in your maybe obliques, maybe mid back for three, two, one. Awesome, inhale, stretch those fingers up towards the ceiling. Exhale, belly tight, reach those fingers down towards the floor. Just reach, inhale, up towards the ceiling. Exhale, down towards the floor. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Keep it up, eight, seven, belly tight, six. Find that reach with your fingers, five. Not just shoulders towards your ears. Really finding a length from the waist, belly super tight. Last two, one. Awesome, reach those fingers back down towards the floor. Heel toe those feet out just a little bit wider. Shift the weight forward into your toes. Even wag your tail a little bit right here. Let's go ahead, bend those knees and lift your hips. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Three more, bend, weight in your heels, straighten, two, and one, stay down here in your squat, transfer your hands to your thighs, drop that left shoulder forward, turn towards your right shoulder. Keep that weight in your heels and change, turn towards your left shoulder. One more time, opposite side. And switch. Awesome, take your time, roll yourself all the way up towards the top. Great work. We're gonna warm up quite a bit as we start our moves. We'll start off slow-ish. I'm just gonna show you one move at a time uh, before each set. So for this first move that we're gonna do, you might want to use a nice light weight in your hands. My lightest weight are these 
delightful three pounds. If you have weight in your hands, I want you to really focus on moving with control though. So you're not just allowing the weights to throw you around for the following movement. We're gonna inhale up, belly tight. We're gonna exhale, rotate and punch. Inhale up, exhale, punch. So if you don't have any weights in your hand, make sure that you're not just flailing those arms around like crazy and just letting your knuckles take the lead. Really keeping that core in tight. Focus on finding that big rotation and feel it in your back. That's gonna be our first of 15 awesome moves that you only have to do twice. But if you love yourself, you're gonna watch the video again one more time. Give yourself a third round. Maybe it's not gonna be immediately after. Maybe it's gonna be later this afternoon or evening. But definitely consider that extra challenge to yourself. All right, get ready for your lightweight overhead press to twist in three, two, one. Ground those feet, inhale up, twist. Keeping those weights right by your shoulders. Make sure you're breathing, keeping that belly in super tight. Find that rotation. Pressing through your knuckles as you twist, like you're pressing a wall away from you. Next up, we're gonna have skater lunges into a back lunge. We're gonna do one leg at a time for a full 40 seconds, and then the opposite leg. Yay, take a break. All right, so you get to choose which leg you're going to start with. This next move is gonna have you stepping back, crossing over, bringing that back knee down towards the floor, then coming up into a knee drive, stepping back into your lunge. If you want to, you can hold onto some weights for this move. Begin, so curtsy lunge, knee drive, back lunge. Now, if you can't, if you don't have the balance to get this knee drive in, just work on stepping your feet together, maybe pressing up a little bit. Find what you can do today. Just getting a little extra ab work, bringing that knee drive in. It's gonna bring a little extra cardio into your move as well. Get that heart rate up. Make sure the weight is in your front heel. Back follow the foot. You can come as deep into this lunge as works for you. So maybe it's just a little side step today. A little step back or maybe chest stays lifted. Good work, take a break. And that back knee comes down towards the floor. Let's do the opposite side. Spatially, I'm just gonna turn around. 10 seconds to yourself. Shake it out, make up your mind to give it 100%. Three, two, one. So cross over to the back, curtsy down, come into that knee drive, and then back lunge, knee drive. Maybe start off slow. Find that one spot to focus your eyes. Keep that core contracted. Stay in control of those breaths. Those three things are really gonna help you with that balance. If you find that you're wiggle wobbling, put down your weights, place your hands at your hips. Just keep going. Don't let that front knee go past your toe. Sounds like someone's cooking in my building. Because that's the smoke detector. Take a break. Okay. Our next move, coming on down towards the mat. Plank with shoulder tap. Sorry, we're going to do a plank with a hand tap. If you want to, you can do a little weight pass. If you need to be on your knees, you can be on your knees. You need to be on your toes. Inner palm touching towards opposite inner palm. Begin. So either just tapping your inner palms towards each other or passing a weight towards the outside of your opposite hand. Try to keep your hands palms relatively close to being underneath of your shoulders. Stay in that nice straight line. Just a 40 second plank, you guys. I say just, but you know, take some time to work up to this 40 second plank. If you got it for the whole 40 seconds, congratulations. Come on down and stand back up. We're gonna go for a side lunge into a knee drive with a Romanian deadlift. I'm short on space, so I'm gonna turn this direction and step here. 
side lunge. You can hold a weight right here in your hands, palms. Lift up, hinge back. RDL, join me right now. 40 seconds starts. Side lunge, weight in your heels, shift back. Stand up, knee drive. Whoa. Send that leg back, hinge forward. Feel the stretch on the back of your standing leg. As you come into your side lunge, make sure that your heel gets planted on the floor and your knees in the same direction of your big and second toe. Only step out as far as you can step back in in one step. Feel free to take your time here. This one's really challenging your balance. Nice work. We're going to switch to the opposite leg. So whichever leg was standing will now be the leg that steps out. Three. Oh, sorry. Five seconds. did the same leg twice. Really focus on pulling those shoulder blades towards each other, keeping that oop, chest open, that big lift of your chest. So not allowing it to intentionally collapse down towards the floor, especially as you come into this side lunge. Almost there, you guys. Three. Two, one. Oh, next up, down dog to mountain climber hold. Just one round. <coughs> so you're gonna switch it up each time around which elbow comes forward. Really work to bring your shoulders forward, tap your knee towards your elbow, and then send it back up into your down dog. Begin. You may hear me huffing and puffing a little bit today. I did not sleep very well last night. If you are participating in our way to go round two challenge, you will discover that next week we're focusing on really working towards creating a sleep routine. What that means, what to do if you find yourself laying in bed, not sleeping. And as you can see right now, Lack of sleep is really challenging me in my workout. Take a break. Okay, what's next? What's next? Oh, we get to hang out on the floor next. We've got some side hip work. You're going to lay all the way down. Legs are going to be stacked. Prop your head however feels best. Hand can be a anchor. Top leg lifts. Lower leg meets it. Both lower down slowly with control. Begin. Top leg, lower leg, lower with control. Shouldn't feel any pain in your hip. You might need to roll over slightly. Come a little bit more onto your glutes. Just work with that control to lower down. Oh, I forgot to mention if you have bands, now would be a mindful time to put those bands around your thighs just to work a little bit harder we can always do that round two. Oh, yay. We're just going to roll over and hit the opposite side. Great news. We're staying down on the floor for a while. All right, set yourself up for success. Get your top hand on the floor. We're going to lift upper leg, lower leg, and lower them both down. Begin. Upper leg, lower leg meets it. Slowly lower back down together. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Really feel free to use that top hand to help you balance here as well. I'm rolled back gently towards my glutes so I'm not putting too much pressure on my hip. You're getting some ab work here too because you're decreasing that space between your lower ribs and your hips. Keep breathing. You made it. Awesome. Next up. We've got supermans. We're going to break our superman down into three parts. Slowly. Do not slam yourself down on the floor. 
especially if you feel like you're not getting a very high lift, work even slower on the way down. Keep using that breath. Clamshells. If you've got the band, slip those around your thighs, lay down on whichever side you want to. We're just going to open and close those legs. We got five seconds till we get started. Three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, the easiest clamshell feet together. Just opening and closing, thinking about using your glutes, not just lifting your knee. If you want to work a little bit harder, you can lift those feet up off the floor even separate your heels slightly. Still just working in control as much as possible. Squeezing that outer glute. Oh yes. Heads up, I decided I wanted better bands. I ordered them in Amazon. They're supposed to come in one day. They came in two. Plenty in stock. Nice, roll over to the other side. Boop, 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 boop. If you have bands, you can leave them on for the rest of this workout. Just to get a little bit more challenge towards those thighs. Here we go. And glam shell open and close. So remember, you can keep your inner soles together. Just be working to lift up. You can even have your hand right here on the outer lower portion of your glute. You want to feel it engage, fire up, maybe even tremble just a little bit. I'm going to be real with you. This band is definitely offering me some solid resistance. And then a little something something to think about as I bring my legs back together as well to resist on the way out and on the way in. Cost like five dollars. All right, next up we've got some push-ups with a rotation and a hip dip. I'm gonna demo it on my knees. You're gonna give yourselves a push-up. You're gonna come up and rotate to the side, hip dip, and then in the opposite direction. Go for it. Maybe you need to press down on your knees, but you can lift up on your toes, roll to that side, hip dip. Remember, you've got to challenge yourself with the hardest thing that you can do today. Maybe you can go for that full push-up. I know my body, and I know I'm not quite there yet, but I'm doing my best every day. I hope you'll join me. Whew. You gotta be smart for your body. You gotta do what's right for you. Awesome, you guys, we're coming into our last two moves. We've got a leg lift that we're going to do into a crunch twist. So you're gonna give yourself a nice leg lift if you can with your hands behind your head. Then lift up and bring your elbow towards the outside of your thigh. Pick which side you want to begin. We're gonna stick with that one side the whole time. You want this lower back to stay glued down towards the mat. So that might mean that you're limiting the depth that you're able to lower those legs. You want to work even harder. Don't place your shoulders back down on the mat. Keep that lift here the whole time. Really work to get that extra little crunch, bringing your elbow all the way to the outside of your thigh if you can. Almost there. Nice work, take a quick 20 second break. Then we'll go ahead and do the opposite side and then we'll take a break between sets. Yes, you've got this one move left to go. Go ahead, send those legs up in the air. Press that lower back into the mat, begin. Maybe lifting that upper body just slightly opposite elbow towards the outside thigh the whole time. Same side. 
Really use your exhale. Find that deep twist. Who feels it? I feel it. Yes, can you touch your thigh? Can you touch that thigh? Find out right now, so close to the end. Push yourself right here at the end. You made it. Yay. I'm going to give you a three minutes to yourself. I know. That's so much time. And then take those bands off your thighs. Oops, my God. Whoa. That's how you know it's a good workout. Okay, make sure you get some water right now. around it. <laughs> All my tchotchkes and stuff. Have I shown you guys my cowbell? Um, someone gave this to me because they thought it was on brand. I'm going to have to agree. It's really loud though. So I encourage you to think about that before you give someone a cowbell as a gift. Have you had some water yet? Alright y'all, we've got time for one more round together. One more round. Fred, don't be so angry. You can do a third round. You just need to rewind the video when we're done and do that. Do it with me, but like kind of on your own. But also I want you to know that I'm going to do a third round. I'm gonna do a third round. Oh, that was scary. We're back, we're back. Fear not. Make sure everything's kosher over here. Yes, there's me. I hear myself. A little narcissistic. Okay. Starting off for the second round, also known as the last round or the middle round, depending on how your day is structured. So we're gonna come back into those overhead presses and side to side punches. Keep those feet grounded, keep a slight bend in your knee, make sure you're really pressing through your heels, the balls of your feet and you have that belly super tight. Grab hold of your lighter weights if you have them. We start in three, two, one, here we go. Overhead reach, find that length from the waist, not shoulders pulling up towards your ears. Use your exhale, press through your knuckles. Good work, warming those shoulders up for those planks coming up again. Come on you guys, it's a quick set. Quick set, just 40 seconds of each move. Almost there. Yes. Next up, we've got those skater lunges. Skater lunges into a back knee drive. Into a front a knee drive into a back lunge. Oh my gosh, option to hold on to these weights. Or remember, you can always just keep your hands on your hips. Start with whichever side you would like right now. So coming into that step back, we're bringing that back knee down towards the floor. Knee drive if you can. Back lunge. How much can you keep that stomach sucked in? How high can you keep that chest lifted? Moving with control. Control on placing that foot down on the floor. Control with driving this knee up also. Almost there. Whew. Yes. All right, I'm going to change it up just a little bit, bring the weight by my shoulders, but I know that lifting the weight up is going to challenge my core more. It's going to make it harder to keep that chest lifted. Breathe it out. 
40 seconds to work. Here we go. Curtsy lunge, knee drive, back. Whoop. Are you challenging yourself right now? Are you doing something hard? Or are you going for what's easy? Can you try something a little bit harder? Maybe the answer is no. That's okay. Whoa. You bring what you can every day. Yes, oh my gosh. Next up we've got those planks, either with a shoulder tap or with a weight drag or with a hand-to-hand -hand inner palm tap. Just gonna go for that inner palm tap this time around. Three, two, press yourself up, inner palm to inner palm. Keep that weight forward. Try not to shift your hips too much. Stay pressed up onto the balls of those feet. Don't allow your heels to stretch towards the back of the mat as best you can. If you're more than halfway, keep your eyes focused on the floor, what's happening with your neck. Take the tension out. Three, two, one. You made it. We're going to stand up. One more time, just a couple more standing moves. We've got that side lunge into a Romanian deadlift, single leg. Find your way to your feet. Five seconds till we get started. Three, two, one. So side lunge, plant your feet. Reach down, hips stretch towards the back of the room. Come into that single knee drive. Send your leg back and forward. Hips square to the mat. Keep breathing. I'm going to stop talking. I can see you're really taking my time moving with control, taking that where I can really still step back in, pressing off of my grounded foot into balance. Yay! Other side. Ho, 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 ho. If your heart is bumping, if you're feeling out of breath like me, slow down that exhale. Quiet your breath. Begin. Keep breathing though. Just working to be a little bit more in control. Maybe you're putting that foot down between each rep. That's totally okay. Maybe you're just challenging that balance a little bit more. Yay. Great work. We got the down dog to mountain climber hold. Alternating elbows to knee this time. Just one set. We start. Two, one, shift that weight forward. Bring your elbow to touch with your knee. Send your hips back up towards the ceiling. Shift forward. Can you keep your eyes forward the whole time? Maybe even really hanging out in your hover with your elbow, touching with your knee. You made it, good work. Awesome, come on down to the floor. If you want, you can put that band on if you have it. We got our side lying. Hip raises, top leg, bottom leg, both legs lower down together. We start in five seconds. 
three, two, one. Top leg, bottom leg, both lower down together. Top, bottom. Good work. Find that spot, focus your eyes, draw your shoulders away from your ears, pull your belly button back in tight. Y'all, I am sweating right now. Three more seconds. Nice work. Go ahead, roll over to your other side. After this, Superman's. If you're feeling any tension in your neck while doing this, relax your head all the way down onto your lower arm and begin. Top leg, lower leg, both come down together. Good. Stay in control of your breath. Five seconds left from right here. Enjoy that burn. You're doing something. You made it. All right, roll over onto your bellies. We got those separated supermans. Press the tops of the feet to the floor. You can bring your legs together if you have a band on your legs for a little relaxation. If you want to stretch those arms out in front of you, oh, I found that timer. You can go for that too. You're going to lift that upper body. You're going to lift that lower body. You're going to lift both together. Maybe add in a little elbow drawback just to stay lifted extra. Lower body, upper body, both at the same time. Maybe cactus those arms, a little extra work of your back. Five seconds left. You made it. Just gonna do one extra. Great, we're gonna roll over onto our sides next up are those clamshells. Get cozy. Mm, I'll just place my hands in my sweaty hair. Go for it, open and close. Focus on using that squeeze. We're not just lifting up the knee and making the thigh work. You're also rotating that knee up towards the ceiling. So if you need to bring the soles of the feet together to help you find that opening, that extra little squeeze in the back. And feel free to keep these hands on the floor. Three, two, one. Nice work. Let's roll over to the opposite side. Next up, we've got those stuff with rotation and hip dip. Just breathe right now. Find that beautiful spot. You're going to focus your eyes and So lifting up and rotating out. That's what your outer butt should be saying as you get to the top. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm quirky. Hey little dude. You missed the down dog already happened. Oh, nice work. Uncle Buck, you're joining us for the push-ups and rotation and hip dip. I love you too. Yep. Okay. I'll face this direction. Set yourself up. Here we go. Push-up. Rotate over. Set 
send that arm up towards the ceiling, hip dip, back to your push-up. Side plank, right side, hip dip. Okay, roll over onto your backs. We got those with the side twist. Last move of the day. Just pick one side, you're gonna stick with it. Send those legs up towards the ceiling. Here we go. You can lift up those shoulders, leg lifts as low as you can get those heels without that lower back coming off of the floor. And then work to bring your outside elbow to the opposite thigh. Keep that chin slightly tucked towards your chest. No, not looking up towards the ceiling. Hi, buddy. Yay, take a break. One more side to go. Send those legs up and begin. Make sure that lower back is still staying down. Maybe just adjust how low you're bringing those heels. Always working smart. Oh, we made it. Go ahead, take your bands off if you're wearing them. Let's take a moment, draw those knees in towards your chest. Maybe wiggle, roll a little bit side to side. Start to stretch your sacrum down the end of the mat, draw your shoulders down and away from your ears. You can keep your knees separated. Just take a couple moments relaxing right here, knees to chest pose. Squeeze it in a little bit tighter, stretch your elbows down towards your hips. Awesome, let's take a spine twist before we'll sit ourselves up. So release your feet down towards the floor, cross your left leg over your right, find that nice deep cross, really squeeze one side into the other, squeeze the back of your left calf into your right, Put your arms out to the side, either in a T or like a football, and drop your knees over to the right hand side. Take a couple breaths, start to come into the stretch. If it feels right for you today, turn your chin over towards your left shoulder. Awesome, go ahead, rotate back through center. Uncross your legs, take a moment, windshield wipe your knees. Stretch through those top knees as you windshield wipe down towards the floor, starting to bring the stretch a little into your mid back. And then go ahead, keep your left foot planted, pick your right leg up, cross it over, find that deep cross, keep your arms out to the side. Use your breath, exhale, roll over onto your left hip and drop your knees over. Can you keep your right shoulder on the mat? Can you keep that tight squeeze of your legs still? Enjoy a couple breaths, relax into the spine twist. Inhaling in, finding that length between your vertebrae and exhaling into the stretch. Change, roll back over onto your back one more time. Uncross your legs, one more opportunity to windshield wipe those feet. Let's get a little into those hip 
Toes here, bring the soles of your feet together, allow those knees to fall out heavy towards the side. You can keep your heels as close to the center line of your body as feels good for you, or walk those heels a little further away. Maybe even bring your hands to your hip flexors. Take one more big breath here. Roll over onto whichever side you want to. We're going to come up onto all fours. Go ahead, open those knees nice and wide. Bring your toes together. Send your hips back towards your heels. Walk your hands forward. Bring your forehead down towards the floor. Head below heart's level. Bring that heart rate down. Finding a nice stretch in those hips. Child's pose. You can have your arms extended as far forward as feels honorable on your shoulders today. We're just going to stay here for three more breaths. Inhale, feel the back of your rib cage. Exhale, allow it to contract. Next up, pull yourself up into tabletop, walk your hands in, and go ahead, bring your, ooh, sorry, weight, sorry, toe, yikes, 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 bring your left foot right next to um, your left hand. I was like, which hand would that be? All right, as you apply some pressure of your hand into the floor, I want you to squeeze uh, the inside of your knee towards your right hand. Sorry, left shoulder. Oh my gosh. Left, left, left. Just a little bit of pressure. Feel how that creates a stretch on the top of your thigh. I work to keep the knees back on top of the ankle. Change, we're gonna change it just a little. Lift yourself up, wiggle that foot forward, shift the weight forward. Still working to keep the knee about in line on top of your ankle, not coming past the toes, not being all the way behind your ankle or you're not gonna be able to enjoy the stretch either. Breathe, release your shoulders away from your ears. Just be supported with your hands. Take one more little gentle twist here. So bring your right hand the outside of your left thigh and extend your left fingertips behind you. Still pressing the weight forward from your hips. You can change, go ahead, bring it back in. Bring your hands back down to the floor. Bring your left, oops, oh my gosh, those weights. Bring your left foot back into tabletop. Step your right foot forward. Bring the sole of the right foot to meet with the palm of the right hand. Put the weight forward slightly. Press the outside of your arm to the inside of that shin. Feel that stretch in the outside of your thigh. Relax your shoulders from your ears. Feels good, right? I know. You're welcome. Awesome, take two more breaths right here. And go ahead and lift yourself up, wiggle that foot forward a teeny bit. Shift the weight forward. Release your shoulders from your ears. Bring your left hand on top of your right thigh and extend your right hand fingertips. Ooh, sorry shoulder. Behind you, it's feeling a little tight. I'm just gonna extend towards the floor instead of directly behind me. I'm gonna work to roll those shoulders down and back over my chest a little bit more as well. Change, bring your hands down to the floor in front of you. Tuck your left toes under, step your foot up. Take a moment here and dangle, bring the weight back into your heels. Generously bend your knees as much as you need to. Slowly, gently roll yourself up to the top. It's getting a nice stretch on the quad as well. So bend up your left leg. 
Stretch that knee down towards the floor, even bringing your heels slightly away from you, but stretching down through the knee, squeezing your glutes so you feel that engagement on the top of your thigh. Just go ahead, bring it forward. Standing thread the needle, one more little balance, shift the weight into your heel. Send that left knee down towards the floor, hips down and back. lift yourself up let's go ahead do the opposite side so point that knee down towards the floor having some connection issues today thanks for bearing with me go ahead straight forward switch maybe your third set will even be easier now that you've found some of these stretches feel free to go through these stretches again or anything that feels right for you today when you finish round three because i know you're going to do it me too change awesome Thanks for coming today, guys. I hope you had a great workout. Please leave your comments, maybe even a sweaty selfie after round three. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. I'll see you all again. I have a great video coming to you live tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.